lecturings, months plannings, and rankings are one hundred percent about the person speaking, not the one listening. A good conversation engages both people, and most importantly, it's about connection. Sometimes you cannot escape a bad conversation, especially if it's with some like boss. But my advice is get the hell out if you can. What makes a good conversation? Language ability is part of it, but there is a lot more to good conversation than frequency. Sometimes it's easier to talk about what doesn't work. Lecture is fine for college professor, but what if your friend, date or partner lecture you? We've all seen this in movies. Two people go out on a first date, and one goes on and on about something while the other person's eyes glaze over. This scenario never leads to a second date in a movie, but life is more complicated. My college boyfriend was a quiet person on the crowd, but when it was just the two of us. He would talk nonstop about a poet and poetry subject that I wasn't especially interested in. Women were typically socialized to listen and let men talk, and that's exactly what I did. Block them. That's not to say women never dominated the conversation. I've met plenty who do, and it's just an annoyance. On the other hand. Man's praying, a combination of a man explained is a specific to men, while some mind lecture because they are nervous, obsessed, self-absorbed, or just like the sound of their own voice. Man's praying is about perceived superiority. It happens when the man talks down to a woman because then he assumes he knows more about the subject than she does. Even when he doesn't, not long ago, I watched American guys explain in detail to a Japanese woman how Japanese culture makes it impossible for people to learn English. She speaks English well and grew up in Japan. He lived there for a couple of years. Then there's a land. People learn to bend their anger over something. Sometimes bending makes us feel better, but listening to a rant can be stressful. Friend of mine says that she lets her husband rant when he really needs to, but after a few minutes, she says, "Okay, honey, that's all for now," and he stops. Sometimes I bend it to my sister, usually about politics, but I try to keep it short. And afterward, I usually say something like, "Okay, let's talk about the dog now."